Right, now what we need to do is we need to make a server. So we can minimize that for now. I've already got uh, a, a, a folder set up here. So just open that and you shall have blankness in there. Go to your Minecraft, your browser, www.minecraft.net. And then what you need to do is you need to go under the buy now, play Minecraft, you need to download. That will take you to the Minecraft uh, download page. We can download the exe, the server.exe, uh, but um, this here is the one I always download because it works. That one, I'm not sure what that one is, but here we are. That's the one you want, so just click that, keep minecraftserver.jar, minimize that, go back into your downloads, and you shall see it over here, Minecraft server. Copy that in, and then what you want to do is you just want to run that so that it can generate all of the files. Right, so there we are, let it create all of that, and when that's done, just stop the server, let it save all the chunks, it will take a while, don't don't click exit because it will freeze up and cause problems. Leave it to close on its own any minute now. I believe, there we are. Right, uh, first thing you want to do is obviously just, uh, just um, type in your name. Just so when you go into the game you can check if it's working and that's always in there, that's fine, leave that as is. Right, now what you need to do is firstly create a new folder in your, ser in your server and go mods, just like that, mods. Just like the client, except in the server uh, folder. Then we need to go back into here, into your, obviously all the links for everything that I'm showing you today will be in the description. Scroll down past that and you want all of this. Now, mod loader MP, we already have one, uh, I think it's in the downloads here, mod loader MP, just uh, if you're gonna get confused, uh, just uh, delete those. Um, I think it, uh, I, I, I don't think it, I think it actually says server on it, but um, just in case we all delete those so we don't get confused. And it will bring us back to this. As you saw before, we downloaded this one, the clients. We want the server now. So click on that. And wait for AdFly again. Which is a bit of a pain. We had adverts. Skip ad, please. And that is done. You can close that. Mod loader MP, so it does say server there, so don't worry about deleting the other one. Now you want MC Forge, obviously. Uh, you want to right click, open a new link, and here, exactly as before, we are downloading the client one, we want the server one, just in the middle there, build artifacts, server, click on that, download, and if it comes up with any messages, just, just say accept or keep, yes, um, these are all clean files, obviously, then, to grab your IC2 server files, very important. Obviously, without this, uh, you don't have a server with this mod installed. So, right click, uh, open a new link. Obviously, it will bring you back to this. Uh, just let you know again, it is not case sensitive. Uh, no offense there. Keep. Um, close that down, and you can actually just close that down a waste of a window. That's everything done there. Don't need anything else from here unless I'm being silly and no, I'm being clever. Right, now, well, clever I mean, anyways. Downloads. Now you should have everything in here that you need. Your mod loader server, Minecraft Forge server, and Industrial Craft 2 server. What we're going to do is, very quickly, go into your server folder, go into your mods folder, uh, click that to the side, click that to the side, if you're on Windows 7 obviously. Take your industrial craft server, you want to copy that, 
and you want to paste it in there. Mods Industrial Craft Server. And that's version 1.9. <coughs> Excuse me. Once that's done, then you need to extract your Minecraft Forge server. Now it I've, I've experimented with this a bit, it doesn't really matter which way you uh, you install uh, these. It doesn't seem to come up with any problems if you install that one first or that one. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll do them in order as the website says. Extract files, OK. Just as shown before, open that. And now, all of this will go into your Minecraft server jar file. So once again, open with your archiver click that to the side and you want to drag all of the stuff including the net into here just yes made INF this you want to keep do not delete this delete it in your client jar file but not in the server keep that 100% fine to leave that then you want to go back you want to go to um, Minecraft Forge server Extract files, OK, and Minecraft Forge server. All of this, just want to Control A, select it all, and drag it along into here, and go yes. There we are. Close that. This you can now close, and this should be. I mean, this is now uh, going to work pretty much. So. Um, for testing it, uh, you just want to you just want to double click on your server, and you'll see here um, mod loader server 1.2.4 version one initializing. Um, it's initialized, initialized IC2 industrial craft two mod loader is initialized. That there is all great. If you see null exceptions, all of that, then you know you've done something wrong, and you need to go back and rewatch this tutorial. So that's fine. You don't need to close anything. All you need to do now is test that we've already tested the client and we've already made sure that the client works, but will it work with the server? And if not, what's going on? So let's open your Minecraft again. Just run that and log in. And now if you're going to be testing this on your own server, what you need to do is you need to type in local host. Obviously, uh, not your IP address because you don't need to connect to your own computer because you're already connected, obviously, so local host and join. We have got no problems. This is a server, as you, as you can see. I've got a uh, tab comes up. Uh, we can test it, but the chat comes up. So I'm just going to opt myself quickly. Um, just so I can go into game mode and then uh, and then I can show you pretty much uh, unfortunately ooh, unfortunately I spelt my name wrong um, and unfortunately I don't have another player at the moment to test this um, obviously a whole different side to this is you need to if you want other people to connect um, without using Hamachi you know Hamachi is fine but if you want people to connect uh, via your IP address and not through Hamachi, you need to learn how to port forward if you don't really know how to do that. Um, so let me take this attempt again on how to spell my name correctly. Um, there we are. And we now have game mode. So, and we'll once again show you that everything works. There we are. So uranium nukes I'll just show you guys a nuke for the fun of it uh, just just to show you that it really does work okay let's get down there and then it will disappear but that means seriously get the F out of there and then we wait and trust me you'll know when it works um, you might not hear an explosion but that will happen. Um, yeah. So there we are. Um, one last thing I want to show you is um, 
we just sorry close all of this. Let me just uh, just always remember if you're going to make any changes to your server, always stop it first. Um, because <coughs> not stopping it causes serious problems. Anyways, now for your mods. Um, I've only got Industrial Craft 2 on here, obviously, because uh, I um, don't have the new version and it will not work. Obviously, if all of your friends have a 1.2.3 Minecraft jar and you're installing this, um, all the mods as 1.2.3, um, then it will work. But because this is a 1.2.4 server that I'm, I'm doing a tutorial on, it will not work. But we'll go into it anyways. And we need to go into mod slash buildcraft. If you're going to download, you will see here. Uh, oh, hang on. Buildcraft, you see here, 1.2.3. Uh, it just will not work. So don't even try. You'll get errors and errors and it will just make you really annoyed <laughs> so download links now obviously you need all of these um, once again these are the outdated ones those ones here are the ones that I have in my sorry if I could find it uh, downloads these are the ones that I have here but they're outdated and to install these just remember you copy the you copy all of those uh, right click and you copy and then you go into your mods folder on your server server mods and you just paste them I think I spelled them yeah. you just paste those in and that will be I'll show you what happens if, we, if you run it like that that will happen you get exceptions and all of that because the mod is outdated so just uh, if that happens accidentally, just delete and then run your server and it will be fine to go. So that's pretty much all you need. Obviously, those go into your client mods folder. This goes into your server's mods folder in there. And then tell all your friends to connect and you can play the game together. Um, so if this tutorial has helped you at all, please like and comment on the uh, tutorial. Um, if you have any problems or perhaps something I didn't quite uh, explain to you guys correctly, or if uh, you know if you have any uh, sort of requests for other other tutorials or anything, you know, port forwarding something like that, um, let me know in the comments and I will. Uh, try and help you guys as much as I can. I hope you've learned something today and if you haven't let me know but I'm sure you have so see you guys.